Don't shoot me. I know. I love both franchises. Anyway, that's not what this is about today. This is all about finding a solution to my problem. And what's my problem? Greebles. There are greebles everywhere in my workshop. And they're not sorted. They're all over the place. And they don't match. I have plastic ones and metal ones all in the same drawer. I have to do something about this. They're just everywhere and they're taking over my world. <laughs> to stand some kind of storage unit on my workshop desk but also this had to be practical so that whilst I'm working away creating the next thing from a galaxy far far away I could just pull open a drawer and pull out the next food pouch topper they are my favorite greeble so guys like any prop from a galaxy far far away it has to look like something from Star Wars let's go on a thought journey if you don't mind I want to think for a moment about what makes Star Wars, Star Wars. Maybe it's a personal thing, but to me, I think you can nail it in the visuals. But I'm a visual guy, and as I've said before, I've been creating or recreating aspects of Star Wars for a long time. When you watch the movies back, next time you watch a film, don't just watch the main actors. Look in the background and look at those sets, because they are mind-blowing, every single one of them. If, like me, you've purchased the VHS, the DVD, Blu-ray, the 4K Blu-ray, and now of course subscribe to Disney Plus. You'll have had ample opportunity to watch those amazing making of documentaries. And I love the discussions. And there's one particular scene I remember when George Lucas was showing us around the, the room in which he writes the films. He was just about to sit down and write the new Star Wars prequel trilogy. He picked up his yellow pads and brand new pencils and sat back in his chair and said, all I need is an idea. And I think that's fantastic because the master himself, and he is a master, started with an idea. He did what we can all do and sit down and think about what it is we want to build. Now we're lucky because we have the whole universe in which he and those amazing people at Lucasfilm over the years have created to play with it. So when I started this little project of taking my plastic drawers and turning them into something from a galaxy far, far away, I hit the books too. I had a read through, I looked at them, and I found different ideas and different concepts that the filmmakers had worked on. And I turned that into positive thinking as I sat and sketched some ideas. I used a simple grey primer and I sprayed them a couple of times, nice and even, to make sure that everything was covered from the outside. So there was no chance that this drawer set was not going to get reblified. So I took my heat sinks, my favourite fans, and I stuck them onto the device. I thought very carefully about the placement of each one. Is it a switch? Is it an outlet? Or is it some kind of coupling device? What is it my device would actually do if it really was from a galaxy far, far away? Very similar to last week's episode, I hit it with a black brush. 
I watered down some black acrylic paint, brushed it on vigorously, and then wiped it away, leaving excess in the crevices to give it that all important feeling of depth. I then introduced a second colour, yellow ochre, which I didn't water down quite as much. I left this a little bit thick and I sponged this on in certain areas. I wasn't in any way thinking of building a gonk droid. I knew I wanted to make some kind of greebleified droid looking storage unit out of a set of drawers. It wasn't until a couple of people on social media started to say, add some feet and it'd be a perfect gong droid. So thanks to the power of social networking, I found myself making some feet for my plastic drawers. So I took a fairly simple approach to making these feet. Again, I hit the HD foam, it's my favorite material to work with, and you can see a link to where I get all of my materials below. The next stage of course was to build it out and make it look a little bit less like layers of foam. I added flexible filler between the different layers and began to build up the shape itself. I also added more greebles, including some copper and metal pieces. to go, I don't know, in the living room. It's lovely, but it's not staying there.
I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this build. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time where we build something in the galaxy far, far away. Thank you.